Dear followers of Pete's Pans, it's late January here on the Côte Verneille, the rugged Mediterranean coastline that lies between France and Spain, or as many of the local folk would maintain, between Catalogne du Nord, the northern Catalonia in modern France, and the rest of the region lying in modern Spain. So naturally, with such a shared culture, the flavours and styles of cooking are similar on both sides of the border. My culinary pilgrimage today brings me to Collioure, this stunningly attractive, fortified, semi-Catalan seaside resort. But first, the windy coastal road takes us through wine country, particularly the vines of the local Banyuls, which are receiving a winter tidy-up. Next comes the busy fishing port of Pourvendre. And just around the corner, pretty as a postcard, is Collioure, where I take a room overlooking one of the quaintest bays in all of France. All along the French Mediterranean coast, a thick, rustic fish soup is enjoyed. Recipes and ingredients vary little, if at all, and all agree that the essential, crucial component of the colourful Mediterranean rockfish, les poissons de roche, the same ones you'll find in a typical bouillabaisse from Marseille, or as the flavour base for Spanish fish stews and paellas and that sort of thing. If you don't have access to this type of fish, the heads and carcasses of just about any suitable white fish will do just fine. My research starts at the local restaurant L'Escale Bleu, where the chef's soup de poisson is every bit as delightful as I'd anticipated, served as always with the garlicky, spicy, tomatoey aioli called rouille. The next day I seek out Les Petits Pêcheurs, the small-scale fishermen at the local port of Argelès, whose catch is still sold every day here on the quayside. Back in Collioure, I take a stroll around the town, stopping off to buy some of the local specialities and to enjoy a glass of pastis, the aniseed spirit from the south. Here are the splendid specialities left to right. The Muscat de Rivesalt, a sweet wine from the area. The fortified Banyuls, uh, similar to port. Then the very same soup I'm about to prepare, along with its essential rouille. Second from the right is the pepper powder, Piment d'Espelette, actually from the other end of the Pyrenees, but widely used around here. And on the end we have the local anchovies that Collioure is so well known for. I set up kitchen on the terrace of the wonderful Hotel Triton. Here are the specimens of rockfish, over here the vegetables, then we have saffron, hot pepper powder, Piment d'Espelette. some regular pepper, some mild paprika powder, salt and tomato paste, bay leaves, thyme and parsley, known collectively as the bouquet garni. White wine and then the local aniseed liquor known as pastis or in this case ricard. Another alternative is suggested in the description below the video. So coarsely chop or slice all the vegetables and sweat them in a good puddle of olive oil. Salting the mixture as this does help soften them up and extract flavour. This will take a few minutes so sit back and enjoy the views and perhaps one of these local delights. When all this is soft, we add the tomato puree and the tomatoes.
let these tomatoes reduce down gently for a good few minutes until starting to dry out. And now the herbs and fish are added. The fish is actually fairly well cooked in this manner, so it's starting to fall apart. So keep stirring it around for several minutes. Now the spices, piment d'espelette, paprika and saffron go in and get stirred around too. Pour in a good slug of pasties, three or four tablespoons if you're counting, and a very good slug of white wine, about 150 milliliters. Let all this reduce down for a minute and cover everything with water, just to barely cover the fish. Let all this simmer for 45 minutes to an hour, giving one plenty of time to prepare the rouille. Squeeze some lemon juice over a yolk, add salt and start to make an emulsion by very gradually, drop by drop, adding olive oil. Mash up and puree a clove of garlic in this manner. And whisk it into the emulsion. Keep adding the oil, then the peppers, paprika and piment d'espelette, as well as the tomato puree. Toast slices of baguette, either as I'm doing here, in a little olive oil, or simply in a toaster. Now you can blend the soup, but be sure to remove the thyme and bay leaves first. We then pass the puree through a vegetable mill, or press through a strainer to remove any scales, bones, or any other larger bits and pieces. The soup should actually be quite thick, not watery at all. Check the seasoning and dress the toasted croutons with the rouille. Three per person, et voila. I do hope you're inspired to give this traditional fish soup from the south of France a try. As for me, I'm off to the nearby Carcassonne to seek out more local specialities. Allez, bon appétit et large soif.